Hello everyone, Helen here and welcome to my channel. It is Doodle Bug Collab Day and once again I will be using the Gingerbread Kisses collection with the matching odds and ends ephemera. I brought in some of the stickers such as the mini icons, the puffies, as well as the regular icon stickers. Uh, this is uh, let's use our scraps edition. I have a few leftover uh, whole 6x6 papers left as well as tons of scraps. And also for the first time I'll be using the Love From Lizzie peel off, particularly the holographic silver that I showed you the first time. And here are all of the uh, peel offs I purchased from when she was having the deal where you can get free shipping if you buy 30. I'm also bringing in the stamp market stamp set that I just showed you. It has lots of Christmas sentiments as well as my tailored expression sentiment strips, the mini strips as well as the regular ones. I like combining big sentiments with um, sentiment strips. I just like the look of them. It just makes the card feel whole to me. I also brought in a couple colors from Stampin' Up, which are Real Red and Cinnamon Cider. Now, unfortunately, the cin Cinnamon Cider, <laughs> that's a tongue twister, it is retired. So I've gone ahead and stamped them, die cut them, so that it's ready for me to use on my cards. My inspiration came from the latest Close to My Heart idea book. And what I like about it is that they uh, incorporated a lot of... Uh, strips so I thought it would be perfect to uh, use because I wanted to uh, use up all the scraps I have left over from the gingerbread kisses collection some of them I tweaked like I added more paper to it but for the most part I followed the sketch closely now this first sketch here this one is actually the sketch that I designed this month. Um, it's inspired by making shaker cards. And um, when I first revealed it, I actually made shaker cards out of it because it looks like a Polaroid picture. But this one, I'm showing you a different way. You, it doesn't have to be a shaker card. You can just cut a square and then make a scene out of it. Um, I also wanted to use up some of the tag pattern paper from the Doodlebug collection. I always have trouble trying to incorporate that in my card making because like the back side is actually just blank tags and then the front is the more busier pattern uh, with the icons and stuff. So I never really know what to do with it and I just feel like it's too small to cut one by one for an A2 size card. And I always wanted to just make three by three cards just, you know, just to make like little gift tags or little mini cards with it. But I don't know. I just just seem to not make them because <laughs> I'm just an A2 size girl, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so that finishes up the first card. Um, I did not take pictures of the sketches that I used from the Close to My Heart book because I just felt like, I don't know, it just felt wrong to take those pictures and then put it on my blog. So if you want to reference it and see the sketches, if you wanted to follow along, um, you can just refer back to this video so um, you can follow along and use the see the pictures of the sketches that I showed earlier but I will have my sketch on my blog post which will be linked down below as well um, okay so the second card this one right here I just added that rainbow uh, pattern paper on the top because uh, according to the sketch you know it just it, it was blank but I wanted to add that because I was really trying to use up a lot of the scraps I have left over. I also want to mention that I did uh, layer a lot of the bigger sentiments about three times, um, actually four times, um, because I like the look of uh, layered sentiment. I just feel like it just, it looks better than popping it up with uh, foam tape. 
it just feels stronger and I don't have to worry about it dipping down with the, uh, you know, if it was like an eye or something like that. Um, so, and I don't mind die cutting it one by one be and because I'm using up my, uh, scraps of white cardstock. We all have all, you know, the white cardstock, right? So this is a perfect way to use your leftover white cardstock as well. And then I'm just going to finish it off the card with hearts. And oh, when I showed you guys earlier that I brought in the puffy stickers and the icons, I actually just use the mini icon stickers, but I just wanted to bring in a variety just in case um, I needed you know, to fill in a lot of uh, empty spaces. But for the most part, I just use the ephemeras and just the, I only use the mini icons on one card. Okay, so on to the next card. So this video is pretty long because um, of all the layering I did with the sentiments. Um, so you'll notice this is actually one of my long, this is probably my longest video other than my craft room tour. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try to talk through it because um, a lot of you really enjoy it when I talk. Even though I'm off subject, you guys are like, I love it when you talk. So um, you guys motivate me to keep going. So thank you so much for all your kind words that you left me on my last video. Um, it really makes me happy to see you guys appreciating uh, me. Uh, doing voiceovers and um, just your kind words just makes this all worth it for me. If you missed my last video, I was talking about my obsession with Habanichi planners and I asked you guys if I should start a new channel just so I can share my planner pages because I didn't want to confuse confuse my audience with you know card making and then I'm doing planner videos but then the more I thought about it you know it's paper crafting so I just want to share you know and maybe it'll inspire others um because the decorating aspect of a planner to me is almost like card making honestly like when I was like watching this planner video um an A6 almost is almost a size of a card, like an A6 planner. And when I was watching this girl decorate her A6 planner, I was like, that's like card making. <laughs> and then all I can do is just decorate it and journal in it. Um, like I started a journal last year in July. And I mentioned that I, I journaled in it every single day. And halfway through the year I'm looking and flipping through it and I'm like I really love looking at what I have to write looking at what happened on some days and then knowing that I can pass on my journal to my children and they can look back on how you know our day-to-day -day life is what we did or what we ate you know just little things like that like I'll put in my journal it's like, you know, it makes it worth it to me because like my daughter is like, dang, that's a lot. And then I was like, are you going to read it? She's like, I don't know. <laughs> I was like, let's look back on this day. And I'm like reading it to her. She's like, no, 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 I don't want to hear that. <laughs> but I know one day like my girls will appreciate it. And uh, and like just one day I was like shopping on Hubman and Chub Girl because I'm a I subscribed to them for the journaling stickers. And then I kept seeing like Habanichi. I was like, what in the world is Habanichi? So I'm like, so I typed it on, typed it in on YouTube and it's a type of planner, but then there's different sizes. And I saw this, uh, and I'm sorry, I'm like, <laughs> like my mind is like running on, like, like there's so many things going on in my mind that I can't say what I want to say because I have a lot to say <laughs> but um the one thing that caught my eye was Habanichi weeks and it's like a narrow like a small planner and it's like a size of a long wallet and to me what caught my eye 
was the sticker kits that you can buy to decorate it with because that's what I saw on Hubman and Chub Girl. I saw that they had kits for Habanichi Weeks. I was like, what in the world is Habanichi Weeks? So yeah, I went on YouTube and, and then like, I was just in awe. I was just like, I want to do that. I want to decorate the planner with the, with the Habanichi Weeks stickers. And then guess what I did, you guys? I went on Etsy. I typed in Habanichi Weeks uh, sticker kit. And then my world of stickers exploded because I was like, OMG, so cute. If you think Doodlebug is cute, my friends, wait till you see all of these small sticker companies. My, my world was like, it's like a tornado because I was like, oh my God, I can use this for card making. I can use this for blah, blah, blah. I can use this for this and that. And I was just like, where have you been all my life? So I did say that I bought a couple planners. I bought the A6, which looks like, you know, a card size. And then I bought the Habanichi Weeks. I don't know what size Habanichi Weeks is. I, all I know is it's called Habanichi Weeks. I bought that one. And um, yeah, I am going to finish my my journal the that I started in July. Um, and then once I'm done with that, I'll probably uh, buy another one. The only thing I'm concerned of, concerned about is what if Hubman and Charb Girl decides to, uh, discontinue those journals, then my journals aren't going to look good on my bookshelf. <laughs> That's all I keep thinking about. Like, I hope they don't discontinue the journals because they can't come out with, um, different designs like covers for it so you know I just want them to look nice on the shelf like in my craft room I don't know OCD <laughs> all right so back to the cards you guys oh okay not back to the cards back to the collab if you guys want to see who um is participating on the collab just you know, you know the deal. Just simply click on the hashtag uh, doodlebug NOV and you will see everyone who is, you know, who decides to participate with us. You don't have to make a video. You can share on your social media. You can share on Facebook, Instagram. You can um, tag. I mean, not tag. You, you can use that hashtag so that we can find you and see what you've created uh, using any Doodlebug products that you choose, doing any project that you wish. This is just for fun and for all of you, for all of us, you, me, uh, Doodlebug lovers. Um, this is something that my friends and I came up with, um, Alma and Cheryl. And we just love Doodlebugs, so um, we just want to spread the love for Doodlebug and inspire others to create with the collections. I also forgot to mention that we do post on the third Sunday of each month and um, next month's hashtag will be hashtag doodlebug DEC. We use the first three letters of each month. And if for some reason, like you don't remember any of my ramblings about the collab, I'll always have the info down below on um, the hashtags and how you can join next time. I always love seeing everyone's creations. So I try to click on it uh, once a day um, oh, for like a week or so to see if anyone joined. Um, it's okay if you're late, you know, you don't have to post like on the Sunday, you know, because I know not everybody has, uh, you know, everybody's schedules are different or, you know, it's just, I guess, you know, for, for us who, uh, who are committed to doing this, like, we'll just mark it on our calendar and know that we have to do it on this day because, you know, that way we know that's all. <laughs> all right. Next card, card number seven. So this particular card here, it is a banner card 
and you guys know I love me a good banner card and I use this punch firm stampin up that cuts uh banners um but I was you know I have to admit I was lazy to reach for it <laughs> so I folded my paper in half and cut it and I usually don't like doing that because I'm I'm very I'm a very heavy-handed person and I'm always uh, afraid that I'm going to, I guess, crease the paper. Um, but this time, I it didn't crease. And I actually found it much easier when I fold it in half. As long as I don't uh, fold it more than maybe a half an inch. Like, I don't see a crease. And I was like why didn't I figure that out before <laughs> so now I'm a little bit obsessed with folding the paper in half and cutting it because it's it's like really centered and I like the fact that both um, ends of my banners are even because like when before when I use the punch and it's a punch it's not for making banners it's actually like a triangle punch and then you'll just center the point in the middle of your paper but you know it's kind of hard to gauge that um so sometimes i have to constantly punch you know punch with the punch <laughs> and um try to make it look centered or even on both sides and sometimes you know on my last kendra's card challenge I, the paper was supposed to be like almost five inches long and and it turned into half because I couldn't center the punch because I'm I'm a little bit nitpicky about when I do banners like it just maybe it's like a pet well I guess it is a pet peeve but it is a pet peeve of mine that if I don't get the banner centered or if like like I'm not too nitpicky about the 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 banners being even on the on both sides but I don't know I just I just can't stop punching if it's like <laughs> not centered <laughs> okay I just want to kind of update you guys on what I am planning to do um, I think I'm done with the fall crafting like I really wanted to get one more fall collection uh, 10 cards video but but with me taking that break for a couple of weeks, it kind of um, just ruined the plan. <laughs> um, so uh, I did purchase a couple collections, one from Echo Park and one from Cardabella. And I wanted to share that. So from here on until probably close to Christmas, I'll just be making Christmas cards. Um you know, just to get into that holiday spirit. And um, I wanted to work on that. So keep a lookout on that. And then this Tuesday, I'm having, I'm joining a collab with my fellow Not Too Shabby members. Um, we are going to be choosing our favorite uh, co Christmas collection from Jamie's shop. Um, wait till you guys see the collection I chose it could be like an older collection. So um, this one is like my ultimate most favorite uh, Christmas, Christmassy uh, collection that Jamie came out with. And yes, it is in stock. So anyways, yeah, you'll get, you guys will see it on Tuesday. And I'm super, super excited because I, I just love that collection. It's so, so cute. And next month, uh, Teresa from Fresh and Renewed with Teresa, Letty from Paper Planner Papery and I, we're having a collab on Doodlebug on around the first week of December. Um, I'll have more info for you guys. I'll probably put it on either my Instagram or my uh, community tab. And it'll be a Doodlebug collab using, uh, you know, just posting uh, YouTube videos about projects we made or I guess a process video for a whole week like so one video a day 
Wouldn't that be awesome, you guys? So for all the doodlebug lovers out there, keep a lookout on that. You know, I could not turn that down when Teresa asked, you know, if, you know, I wanted to do or if we wanted to do a collab. I was like, yes, doodlebug paper is like my number one most favorite paper collection that I make cards with. It. I love the cuteness, kawaii look of it. I love that when they come out with a collection, even though it's late <laughs> for the season, um, I like that it's complete. Like they come out with the whole kit and caboodle to make your um, crafting fun, you know? So I love the fact that their ephemera packs are packed full of sentiments. I like that they're... Um, like the variety of stickers that they come out with to match the paper. It's just, you know, I don't ever have to worry about running out of ephemera. Like I can make a good 20 cards and I'll still have ephemera left over if that makes any sense. I also want to say that the last two cards that you're going to see, they're going to have the same look, except one I added a circle, which is this one, and the other one I added a rectangle. Um, the reason why they look the same is because one side of the pattern paper was one, it's directional, and two, it wasn't going to work because it was, it's one of those um, doodlebug pattern papers that I guess you can journal on it and it just that's why I had to cut another piece of paper and I didn't want the triangle to go to waste since you know I'm only left with scraps so uh I really love the look of the peel off here and to my surprise like it's it's not thin or flimsy like I thought it was gonna be foily and thin like it would roll on my hands but it wasn't doing that it's it's a pretty it's thicker than I expected how about that um if if love from Lizzie comes out with like uh, another free shipping I'm definitely gonna buy more of the holographic silver because that one out of all of the peel-offs I purchased that one is my favorite as well as the holographic gold um, I did look to see how much shipping would be for the amount of uh, peel-offs I purchased the first time, which is 30. And I was like, oh, wow, that's a lot. It was like $24, almost $24 or 23. But still, um, to me, that's too much to pay for shipping for 30 peel-offs. What do you guys think? This one right here, like I glued the apron too soon and I really wanted that spatula to go um, behind the apron, but I also wanted it to go behind the fa-la-la-la-la -la -la -la, or fa-la-la, but I already glued it, so I had to do ephemera surgery <laughs> and um, just tucked it in as much as I could in the apron. Then I'm just going to take some of the hearts and decorate all around the, um, the card and that will finish it off. You guys will have to let me know which card is your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I truly appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with me. The whole 24 minutes and 44 seconds of your time. And um, I'll see you on my next video. I hope you had a wonderful weekend. Bye.